food. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile king for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. Yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Yes, now is the time. What's up, guys? It is yours truly. It says in the bottom right corner who the fuck this is, and you've seen the intro as well. But uh, we're playing Witcher 3. I'm going to be doing my rendition of the Witcher 3 Let's Play. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys know that I've completely Let's Played Witcher 2 from beginning to end. I have another channel. It's my Let's Play channel where all that stuff goes up. This video is going to go up on both channels. Um... But I'm just going to put up the first few, maybe just this one, on my uh, shooter channel. Just to kind of let you guys know that this exists and give you the option of transferring over if you want to subscribe additionally to my Let's Play channel. But, uh, yeah, I have a lot of stuff on my Let's Play channel. I have a lot of other games that I've Let's Played completely. And my Let's Plays are very casual. I'll tell you guys up front right now before we get into it. I don't like to over theatricalize things. I don't even know if that's a word, but I don't like to over edit. Um, it's not that I don't have the ability. It's that I just don't like putting in the work for something like a Let's Play. It's, it's something that is more personal for me and the subscribers. It's more fun for both me and the subscribers, or I should say for me specifically, because I'm sure you guys enjoy the editing um, but it's, I just like it to be easy. I don't like to wear myself out on a series because I have to edit and then I don't end up posting and then I don't end up committing to the game and finishing the let's play. So, uh, you're going to see me just talking whenever I feel like it, fully exploring the game. Uh, I'm not going to be rushing through anything to get through the main storyline. I'm going to be 
absorbing everything in, going through the side quests, reading things, observing, examining, um, yeah, and just taking my time through the world. And um, yeah, so if that sounds like your cup of tea, if you just want to chill and coast along on this ride through Tamaria, then, you know, by all means, feel free to stick around. So let's get right into it. I've already started a game, but I just kind of wanted to refresh myself on the series because it's been about 40 years since I played Witcher 2 or however long. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. So I don't know why it says July 11th, 20, okay, so we're just going to go down to our latest load. I have no idea the order of this, it's like July, and then you have August, September, and then it should be like October, but instead... Oh, okay, there we go, January. Okay. Oh, I guess this would be our last save where we played a little bit, so we'll just we'll just jump on that right there. So I'll shut up for the uh, scenes. go that transition from cinematic to gameplay is just awesome So I've gone through most of the tutorials already, um, so we won't spend too much time on that. Geralt of Rivia, Mr. Uh, Sexy Legs here. Mm -hmm. 
Look at those lube up legs. even is that? It's not like... <laughs> it wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. Yennefer with that ass, though. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. If you guys don't know, in part two, you never really play with Yennefer. You're on a search for Yennefer, sort of. Um, well, not really. You're on a search for... Uh, okay, so you side with the king. You're his sword for hire. And uh, then your king gets assassinated by another witcher. And then you're on the hunt for that witcher. Um, but obviously in the, the, over -ar the over looming arch of things, you're on the search for Yennefer. It's implied. Uh, but you spend the rest of your time in that game with a character called Triss Marigold, who is his romance um, in, for that particular game. But it seemed like Yennefer is really his, like, you know, his true love. Um, and at this point, you don't really know who it is. I mean, you kind of have an idea, but, you know, you don't know till you see the hair. Because Triss has red hair, and Yennefer has black hair. And, uh... Yeah, so the distingu distinguishing features that I can tell uh, from Yennefer uh, to, compared to Triss is that Yennefer seems like she's a lot more assertive, a lot more dominant. Um, she seems to be able to tell Witcher what she wants, what she wants him to do. You know, Triss was a lot more passive, a, a lot more scared. It, it seemed like like she's always afraid that she's going to lose um, the Witcher. What did it say? Loot somewhere? I want to loot something. I thought it said loot. Okay. Um, but that's just an observation from like the first few minutes of the game. It's, I, I haven't read the books. I've been meaning to get into the books. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Uh huh. Look at her just telling us what to do, and we'll do it too. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Just go ahead and observe some stuff in the room here. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Mm -hmm. Undergarments. Oh, you freak. You freak. Let's see those undergarments. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. <laughs> Not to mention unreasonable. Her hair game on point, though. Try to get some action here. Uh -huh. So that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known me. What's it matter? I've only ever thought of you. <laughs> Playboy. All right, here we go. So, what else can we observe in the room? Is there anything in here? No. So, I've seen, uh, I've played a little bit of Witcher 1, like, just, like, the first, like, hour. Lavic and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my tree. Alrighty, shoo, you have to suck. She is super freaky. Okay. I feel like we needed that key. And, um, this looks a lot like place in which one right before you get attacked mountain pass is beautiful as ever in which one you're actually training um oh shit i got to set my keys up cuz i am weird uh, sprint oh no i think it's already set up for me Um, but in Witcher 1, they're training in the courtyard, and then you get attacked by, like, a legion of, uh, 
forces. I, I don't know. Um, but I still haven't been able to determine whether or not this game takes place after Witcher 2 or before Witcher 2. Because old Witcher's fast yeah. asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Mm. Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. <laughs> I've been taking notes on ghouls and all ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes at them. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that. If she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. <laughs> All right, take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but... I like how they designed her character. She's not overly feminine, you know. She seems like the reasonably what a girl, a young girl, would look like going through the Witcher process, which is like short and stocky but strong for her height. You know, they could have made her a lot like Sansa or uh, Arya Stark from uh, Game of Thrones, like super petite, you know. But I like the way that they did it. skip that not this time believe me you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting <laughs> bear stop god damn it dog right. anything to say for yourself young lady I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you want to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. Fine markings. 
like unto the panthera tigress that in Zeracania I still don't know if this is Witcher's daughter or not. So you did read the chat. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Says, she says uncle, so I'm, I'm assuming that she's Geralt's daughter. Siri with a dump. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Um, let's start the fundamentals again because I kind of I forgot how to sidestep. I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't hurt to learn how to do that again. All right, let's skip all that. All right. So I remember how to do this. Z select the target. Okay. Position Siri. Footwork. It is that. How come it doesn't work? I guess I'm not timing it right in actual battle. Always a fly trapped in amber today. Do it again. Smear, attack me, bitch. Now, young lady, there we go. Bring the day to a close. We'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with when. Siri, when is sometimes called the witch's sheep. Watch carefully to see why. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be a flame by now. Ah, Oops. <laughs> Come on. Then what does he want me to use next? Hard. See that, Siri? Hard will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy the. Ah! Oh, it's just right. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. <coughs> Axie can really muddle your mind. I like the, the way Erden works in this game. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. I like the way you throw bombs in this game too. It's a little bit easier than uh Oh what? I'm holding it. There we go. But the bombs look like they don't do oh, why is he just throwing it? I'm holding it. It's kind of annoying. Bombs look like they just shoot off fairy dust instead of actually doing damage, so that's kind of lame. But all right, Fine. enough. Continue training at will. Let's try practicing some side steps. Oh, 
I'm getting raped. I'm getting raped. I'm getting raped. It's kind of hard to do. It's not like so. Like he doesn't just do it. Like he'll run around and. Is it shift? Nope, he's not. See, he's not. He's not at all doing it. Just over here getting wrecked. That's why I couldn't do it earlier. Oh, that was the first time. He like. Here, let's try Z targeting. Nope, he didn't do it there. He's just running around like a. Up. 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 He just runs when. <laughs> so annoying. I'm just getting killed by this guy. Alright, let's just put this in and I guess we just won't really utilize the uh, sidestepping feature in this game. <laughs> this part's kind of trippy. What the? That was pretty trippy. But here we go, it was all just a dream. And Witcher is actually a little bit older, a little bit grayer anyways. I'm thinking this takes place after Witcher 2 because he just mentioned Triss and Yennefer was always missing. Now that I'm kind of getting, uh, this is like my second time going through it, I'm kind of understanding now. So Yennefer was never actually in that place that Witcher was just in. Um, that, that was just his dream. In the dream, we went and found Ciri. And we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. <gasps> I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri appeared in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. 
We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. I'm curious to see what series uh, like status is right now. You know, not only your social status, but her well-being as well. Like, is she doing okay? Is she just running around being a witcher? Is she? Uh, I don't know. Some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail. So stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. That it does smell of lilac and gooseberries. We're gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> they must meet soon. Will it be near Vizim? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn. <laughs> That's private, very private. Aha. Uh -huh. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. <laughs> Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. Let's go, ghouls. Life on the continent and in the Skellige is Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land and those it spares live. Uh, live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword, which we already have drawn. So, let's just do this. Try to get some uh, some fire action in here. Double team this guy. Oh, no getting away from you, buddy. Let's try to get some sidestepping action in here. See if we can. We can dodge, but maybe sidestepping is. No, I, I honestly I don't know. Okay. Certain abilities you can acquire a light perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you're when you are not engaged in combat. Hmm. That's weird. Of course, oh, okay. Gotcha. Let's go before any more show up. Um Go ahead and uh, call our horsey here. Did they drop anything? No, not that I can see. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. <laughs> Did he know they eat the living as well? No, really upset him too. His theory collapsed. <laughs> Roach. I wonder why he calls a roach. Not exactly going our way. Is it because of Witcher 2? I'm, I'm not really sure. Realms. We're out of its realms, don't we mean? Temeria and Denner are no more. We're out of its pledge to restore the old borders. As soon as he wins the war. Believe that. <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. What was going on over there? It looked like there was... There's some monsters or something. I kind of want to check it out. Oh, look at those guys. We'll probably get wrecked, though. Let's just stick to the main storyline. Because I ended up fighting a Wraith uh, later on, but it's level 7, and I'm not even sure what level I am. I think I'm, like, level 1. So I was getting frustrated. Like, why couldn't I kill this thing? But then, you know, it's because it's fucking level 7, and I'm level 1.
Oh shit. He got wrecked. It's crazy how it just lifts that whole thing up. Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, yeah. Could always use a few crowns. Just saved your life. I'll take a few coins. You have some uh, bling bling on your hands there, so. This guy's lack of a chin is disturbing. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Mother. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Beast barely grazed me. But sure, use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from the cellar. Let's go. <laughs> Should we examine anything here? No. Oh, wow. What the fuck is this? You didn't even mention your wife that just got destroyed. There's another corpse here. That's funny. I didn't give a fuck about these people. Um, okay. So let's head out here. So, the griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. From the forest to the mountain, sure. But here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Whoa, you kind of juke me out there a little bit, Vesemir. Now, this game isn't like Witcher 2 in that the beginning is super action paced or action packed. Um, and fast paced rather uh, it's slow in the beginning it is so keep bear that in mind I don't think that's a reflection of the game's overall entertainment value I think that it's just a little slow this time in the beginning No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Right way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. That's no 
good to wallow in this fortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. No, I tried drinking before, it didn't really do anything. Um Looking for a woman, raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after. All. All right, um, let's do this. Pretty busy place you got it. Nations on the moon. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the arm. No, this is, uh, nothing useful. Okay, there's no contract for the Griffin, I already know that much. We have to go somewhere else to get the contract for the Griffin. Now, there is a card game. This man is going to teach us how to play a card game. Would you be of a mind to kill the thing? Beasts are scourge on our lands. Only killed livestock at first, but it's got a taste for human flesh of late. We're not going to set foot in doors. If someone will pay us, won't say no. We're not fucking charity. We, we don't just sell charity cases. We have, uh. We're a business, you know? Kind of maintain that. Have you manage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. All right, here we go. Let's ask around. I'm looking for someone. We seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. Your breath sours my beer. Say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Now I've been so fast she knocked Radivore into the ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! <laughs> and I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything to examine in this place? Uh, I don't feel like there is. Whoa, that's kind of getting trippy there. It bends the room when you're no, what your what your sense. There are four factions. Four factions, teams, suits. Similar to clubs and spades, except um, each suit we'll go ahead face. and uh, talk to this guy first, and then we'll do the card game. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Chase, you see her or not? Yennefer or Bengal. He just knows everything. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I'll never forget. Come here. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballot, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. He runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The butcher of Blaviken. Hmm. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your help. How does he know? What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to road deep at your service. Vagrant? Got a profession now? Once a merchant. 
merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror. Now it clocks. You see, Mirror, deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. And the Ulfgardian scout at my local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white with gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Alright, so let's see about this card game. <laughs> All right, we got to find out about this card game. I think this is the the line that does. The sword is not the only. I guess he tells us when we leave. No, and I don't have time to learn. All right, let's do it. Okay, so if you guys want to skip past this part, I'm going to be playing a lot of the card games. I think I, I enjoy this card game, so I'm going to be doing it. Um, you can skip past this part, you know, just, just jump around, figure out. There's a little preview thing on the timeline. Let's see exactly what you're jumping to. Just figure that out. I'll let you guys read the rules. I only know the rules slightly. You guys notice this little leader card here, full test. I thought this was cool. How do you examine? Check it out. I thought that was cool. Full test is the name of the king that gets assassinated in Witcher 2. The very very beginning of the game, you're working for Full Test. You're helping him lay siege to 
uh, a castle that has his his son that he's made with his sister, I believe, it, it, when it was incestual. And, um, yeah, he was the king of Temeria, I guess, all the lands, and he just gets assassinated by another witcher. And then Geralt hunts that witcher down. So, I thought that was cool. What is this? This, I'm not really sure who that is. Okay, so let's get started here. So I guess we should start with a small number. Why not? You guys can pause to read the rules. We pretty much go until we run out of cards and then the round ends. There's two. You have to win two rounds. Um, we'll go with this guy. So he also laid one. Do we have... We'll go ahead and add this guy. Who should also add plus one. Yep, there you go. And uh, we'll take our stock in um, these guys here. Because we're going to play this card. Oh, wait, no, it's this card that screws up all the uh, ranged forces. But doesn't hit the, uh, the, the siege, I guess they're called. I forget. All right, so let's do that. Perfect, he played another one. So we're gonna go ahead and play. Oops. We're gonna go ahead and play this card. Oh wait, no, it's... shit. Oh, I don't have it, it was wind that screws up. Ah, oh, damn it, okay, that was a miscalculation. So we'll go ahead and uh, lay down some should have had I known that I would have played these guys instead god I screwed that up completely <laughs> okay so I win this round but it's gonna be pretty bad for me for this next round because I have almost no cards um, so we can pass here okay go ahead and play okay we'll, we'll eliminate all his armed forces or his uh, his front forces that way we can set up a proper let's see that hopefully he plays a bunch of soldiers ah shit okay um Yes, he played a soldier. This is good for us. We just need to win one more round. So, ah, uh, you know what? I, sh I should play the card. I'm, I'm afraid that he'll play that card before I play my card. This is the final play that I can make. And I think he's going to beat me. Um, what is this? Pick an impenetrable fall card. Play from your deck. Um, I guess. I don't know what this is. Fucking hell, I just lost myself the round. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pass on this. He's won that round, but we still have another round. Um, 
I don't know, neither of us really have cards. How did he win the round? What? Okay. Okay, we have to do that again. That was bullshit. If you ever find yourself in I beat him the first time I played because I didn't make those stupid decisions. Holy fuck. So I'm not very good at Yu-Gi-Oh, if you guys can tell. Let's go. Let's rematch, bitch. You don't want it. You don't want it. You, uh... Oh, I can manage it. Oh, man. We're not going to get into all that right now. Let's just play the damn game. Ah, oh, what? Um. I need more unit cards, so. Shit, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Ah, oh, god damn it. It seems like we have enough. Not enough unit cards. How do I get these guys? He add a card. There we go. Sorry about that, boys. Alright, here we go. What is this guy's special ability? Place on your opponent's battlefield counts towards opponent and draw two cards from your deck. Oh, that's why Prince Stannis is bastard. Stannis, Stannis, Stannis. I don't like that character. I remember him. Just go ahead and start with that. You want to salvage your cards. You want to end when you think you're going to win so that you don't burn up your cards for the next round. Um, so this is the range card, and we have only two ranged, so we'll go ahead and play that this round. Oh, and he plays the rain card, the son of a bitch. Choose one card. For, okay. I should have saved her. I didn't know that was her ability. Okay. So, forget that. We're going to go ahead and play this. that guy. If I play him, he goes on their side. I don't really want that. I'm running out of people to play here, god damn it. He's not gonna stop. Ah, I've lost the round. I guess I could just play him. There we go. That works. 
Okay, well, I guess I've won this round, but fuck, I'm screwed for the next round for sure. So all I got is Stennis, who's just gonna... Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna skip on this round. Like, let him take this. Should I? I'm gonna play this and draw two cards. So what do we have here? We have, um... Don't really even want to play either of our cards. I think we should just skip this, let him win this. Do I try another card? Oh, I don't. Okay. We might be able to pull something out of our asses here. Yes, yes, we can actually. Let's go ahead and play this now. There we go. Wait, so if he passes and I... Yes, I win! I win, fucker. Fucker. All right. Yes. An interesting round. If you desire a rematch. Yeah, that's right. No, no, no rematch. We don't need that shit. We got a let's play to do. Okay, so I guess I, he gives me a card. I almost want to play him again, but I don't want to take up too much of our time here. about to get worked on. You guys want some? Let's hit him with a hard strike. Hmm. That haymaker though. So let's go ask these Nuff Guardians about Yennefer. You know what? Let's go to the town board first when we can, when we see it. We can collect some missions. There's the town board. Let's go over there. We can collect some missions here. Boost our... Uh, Boost our level a little bit. Let's just take all these. And there's one other person here that has a quest for us. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly tonight, so I set fire to my forge. The sarcastic Irish bastard. What do you think happened, Denwit? Some bugger set a light me me watch off. Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damn village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out the plate, shoe horses. I saw it. Milk guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. They just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. 
you stop talking to me. Spit when I pass. Now this. I can find your arsonist. Provided you will. Not much. Though. I'll give you all if you bring that horse. He gets what he deserves. The night of the fire. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and find this guy, and Geralt just decides to run forward while I'm not even holding the fucking keyboard. We don't actually want to go here, I don't think. We want to go over here. Now there's this wraith here. That's wrecked me time and time again. But I just need to fight it enough so that it leaves me alone and lets me meditate. get that ability point. So we'll go ahead and save here because I feel like I'm going to get destroyed again. But who knows. Okay, it is red or marked with a skull. It means the enemy is much stronger than you. That's what it was. Take this guy, we can do it. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, that was supposed to be a combo there. What? Oh, shit. Alright, we're fucked a little bit. Why are you just jumping randomly? Come on, Geralt, get it together, buddy. So I think that's the point where the Wraith just decides to run away. Oh, we handled that way better. I guess we gotta hold it. Sorry, guys, just tapped it. Press backspace in the character panel. Okay. Um, when you have gained a certain level, uh, number of experience points, you advance to the next level. You get experience points for killing monsters and completing quests. Simple enough. You receive ability points every time you gain a level. Using these points, you can acquire new abilities or improvements you already have. Okay. Okay. Now I thought this was like a, an innate ability, like it just happens without, but it's it's more of a skill. Here, I, I just want... Um, I 
Hmm. I don't know that this is an inactive ability or not. Oh, okay. That's interesting. It's a little bit different. So I guess this isn't an inactive ability, but it's activated when you simply place it in a slot. So. Okay. Fair enough. And let's see if there's anything to inspect here. Oh, sweet. I didn't even... I never even really paid attention to this. Let's go ahead and eat some more. Strange. You know what? Let's meditate. We can regain our health here, just in case that thing decides to come back on. What was it? Backspace. Alright, so let's activate the yard sign. Um, let's save. Uh, I've never been to this little area. There has to be a quick save button. I think it might be like F9. There used to be a quick save feature. I really shouldn't be down here, guys. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. We can't leave. But luckily, it's the same guy. So. Totally within our ability, we just have to. Come on! Shoot the damn blast. Walked right into it. We just gotta dodge around here a little bit. Let our uh, stamina recharge. Ah, oh, and he. It has to be completely full before he casts? That sucks. I need to upgrade my stamina for sure. Hope we don't want to die at the last second here. Oh, oh my god, and we die at the last second because he decides to deal a fucking triple blow. Alright, we can do this. We got this. He's level 7 and we're like level 1, but we got this. We got this. We can do it. Medallion's humming. Basic power. It's gotta be. Let's go, you fuck. And we cast art, I guess. Oh, shit! Hard lets us do uh, more attacks in a row. Come here, you bastard. And we just wasted our hard because it decided to just fucking randomly teleport. We got this, we got this. Maybe one more flurry.
Nope, it's not going to go out easy. We'll get out of here after this. Yeah, because we really shouldn't be down here in the first place, honestly. We didn't get anything for that? God damn it. Ooh. Ooh, cool. We'll probably equip one of those things. They're probably going to be better. Yeah, I, I wanted to level up a little bit more down here, or uh, just in general, not necessarily. God damn, these fucking sounds creep me out. I feel like there's somebody else in the room with me. Because the surround sound isn't uh, kicking in all the way like it should for this game. I don't know why. Oh, cool. Alright, let's go ahead and peace out of here. Ooh. Is this the entire room? Oh, okay, so I guess it is the entire room. I guess this room was just for, like, you know, badasses who wanted to... Shit, is there something else out here? I'm kind of scared. Did I not already grab this? Oh, I should have been using the Ignite sign because it's been boosted, but let's equip some of this stuff. Our first uh, loot drops. Okay. Alright, so our steel weapon is currently this. We can switch it for this, which will do plus eight, or this, which will negative two. What is that? Um, does it need to be repaired? Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It needs to be repaired. But you know what? I'm digging this this effect. We're going to go ahead and equip that. And this... Oh, okay, so that's the... Uh, it needs to be repaired, so it's suffering a statistic drop. Um, we'll go ahead and equip this. Plus 9 armor. And he looks stupid as hell. Absolutely stupid. Um, oh, that's fine. Quest items, other... All right, here we go. I guess it's not so bad, right? You know what? Let's meditate first, get our health back. Since we are playing on the uh, medium difficulty. We are allowed to meditate and recover health. So we don't have to consume or use consumables in the entire That's game. Place of power. Draw from it. I already drew on it, motherfucker. Hey oh, I'm supposed to cross water, my bad guys. towards the Nilfgaardian uh, garrison, or like hideout, slash thing in the You better make that jump, bastard. Don't be a pussy. Oh, you know we gotta get off and do that. Oh, shit. Oh.
gotta lure him over here. Oh, poisoning, that's what's getting me. I wonder if I can meditate here. Or am I too close to enemies? Oh, I wake up just dead. Oh, okay, cool. You're deciding forever how, what kind of weapon I want to use. Oh, and he's dead just like that. Whoa, what is that? A warg? That looks... Woo! I did not expect that to happen. Okay. Well, that really helped us out. And there was absolutely shit in there. Oh, here we go. Damn, I'm trying to get to that sack. We'll take that. Did my horse die? No, I don't think so. Go ahead and sell that. Hmm. I feel like we should just equip his armor. It's, it seems better. Now, what can we actually afford? Where's our coin at? Six seventy-one. What does it say? No. Minus 309. Mm. We don't need any weapons right now. Just go ahead and, and repair. No, we don't need to repair that. We're not even using that. 95, 98, 98, and yeah, let's 
let's repair that as well. Morel holding up around here. You always think you could win this thing. Spy up. Or one to stir trouble. Just curious. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? <laughs> I already bought something, fucking retard. So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, Tamirian, took from us earlier. You will give third. That will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war. Who are you? Speak. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. Then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already. Including a few of my men. Hunted, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a battle. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle. No, too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands. Okay, so this is where we get it. Where we get the it's quest for the griffin. Question. It kept to the Vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. I only recognized them because they wore our clothes. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. It's gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Sent should be a griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not a fool to come and come. Though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idiots. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tomira and Mislov. Alrighty. So we got our quest.
You're not supposed to steal. But I don't think he's going to do anything about it. And, and uh, Witcher 2 didn't really matter. You could just take whatever you want. But if you steal in front of a soldier or anybody who's watching, they'll attack you. Oh, stop. Fuck you. Yeah, stop. Won't stop. So why don't we fast travel? Back to the village. That's the mill, and there should be one. Why are they afraid of me? That's weird. You came from the water roach? It's interesting, you're, you're, you're a mermaid. I, I like this little mission with the hunter, it's interesting. Well, his story is interesting. We're almost nearing the point where I, I know as much as you guys, so... Don't be afraid. first episode of my Witcher 3 uh, Wild Hunt Let's Play. And if you like the content, make sure you rate the video, comment, let me know that you like it, and then go ahead and subscribe to my Let's Play channel where the rest of the series is going to go up. The series isn't going to go up here, it's going to go up on the Let's Play channel. I just want to reiter reiterate that just in case because I don't want anybody to, to expect it here and stick around here and not transfer over. So subscribe to that channel. Um, there will be videos, I want to say, at the very least weekly, but I'm just going to upload them as, as fast as I can. I'm playing through the game, I'm like already hooked, I want to eat it, I want to just completely play it, but I have to upload the videos before I can play it, so I'm going to stay in track with you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if you like it, if you guys want to support me, uh, that's a great way to do so, and if you want to go even further than that, you guys feel free to donate directly to me, I, don't know, I think the link is up here in this little, like, uh, this little icon here that supports me directly and you're gonna be feeding me putting food on my table if that's what you would like to do um, and I will personally shout out anybody that donates five dollars or more if you have a YouTube link that you wanted to uh, promote you can feel free to do that and I'll put that out there as well but again it's totally optional and to the rest of you motherfuckers uh, thanks for watching and hopefully you guys head on over there where the rest of those videos are gonna be catch you guys later peace out this has been Jux.